guys welcome back to the channel uh this is a cool haul that i got here i got some great uh buys off of uh ebay uh got some not so great things from ebay and <laughs> i'll share that with you but um first of all by the way thanks for coming to the checking this video out at the filming of this video I'm at 10,001 subscribers. I'm blown away. Thank you guys so much for getting me where I'm at. When I'm 10 times more from where I am here, I'm still gonna look back and say, you know what, Those that core group is the ones who got me to where I'm at. And I'm truly appreciative of it. So, first thing I wanna talk about is Mark over at Hobby Nut Models. He said, hey, I'm gonna send you something. I'm like, okay, send it. And it's this. It's an airbrush. Well, no, he didn't send the airbrush. That's my airbrush. He sent this. Check that out. Hobby Nut Models logo on this air compressor. This is a, a miniature air compressor for your air gun. And he said, I want, to, I want you to try it out. We'll see how it works. Um... Well, he already knows how they work, but he says, I want you to, I want you to show how it works, rather. Um, I've already put a charge on it, and I'm trying to figure out, number one, where does the air go in? Maybe it sucks it in around the charging port. I don't know, but you hit this button right here. And, okay, it was already on. Okay, so it's on right now, right? It's not doing anything. But you take and... Every time you release pressure, it fires it up so what i want to see is number one how good does it do with a a uh, siphon feed that's quite a bit of air pressure uh, on demand um maybe it sucks the air in from back here i don't know i'm blown away i, I honestly i would never really saw any of these things but go check out hobby nut models Dot com. It's in the link is in the description below. I may I may even link this air compressor in the description below. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's, I mean, no need for a an air compressor. If this thing works like it's supposed to, no need for an air compressor. It's just like that's it. So we'll check it out, and uh, we're gonna do a review on it. Gonna build a kit that Mark had sent over a while back. Anyway, guys, don't forget, hobbynutmodels.com. Check it out. Next on the list is something I've already done. <laughs> it's kind of comical at this point. Um, I've already done a, uh, a couple of shorts on it, and uh, I'm just, I've got to. I mean, it was going to be part of this haul today, so I've got to do it, but it's this, uh, it's those fabulous Fords, 125th scale Cougar 2. If you hadn't seen the shorts on this already, shorts by meaning not like swim shorts, I mean the short videos, like 15 second videos that YouTube lets you put out called a short. Um, go check them out, but anyway, they're only 15 seconds long or 16 seconds long. This is, the reason I put this on a short is because of this. Um, and, and, and let's, I'm gonna, so when I got this package, here's, Here's the box. When I got this package, it was on my porch today. I'm like, oh no. I mean, this dude is smashed. Um, I knew there was going to be issues. I was hoping. I was. I had high hopes. I'm like, I've seen it before. They survived. Um, but yeah, this this kit. Um, let me open it up. And we'll, sh we'll take a look at it. I don't remember which end I closed up here. See if we can get this accordion out of here and uh when i opened it up i noticed that we had a you know some minor issues with the body not not too bad just some minor issues uh yeah it's pretty much uh this this kit this kit's no good it's got a few extra parts that i needed for my but what I wanted to mention, okay, so that body is total garbage. Nothing can be salvaged out of that body. But what I wanted to say is this. 
I bought this off of eBay. I didn't ask for a refund. I just sent a couple pictures to the to the store owner. I said this thing was crushed in shipment. And before I knew it, bling, refund, total refund. Um, the most kind person, whoever it is, oh, her name is Candace, actually, because she put Candace. Candace replied and gave me a refund. I said, Candace, look, I didn't, I wasn't even looking for a refund. I just want to let you know this is how the Postal Service sometimes handles our packages. Um, I encourage you. Um, I encourage you right now to go check out Poison Apple Collectibles. Poison Apple Collectibles. Let me see if I can even get this on there. Poison Apple Collectibles is the uh, is the eBay store where I got this from. And like I say, there was there was no hesitation on their part to refund my money, and they got some cool kits. I know that I'm I'm a uh, you know, quote unquote, sponsored by Market Hobby Nut Models, but I don't think he would mind me doing this because there are people out there that have your best interest in mind, and um, the Poison Apple Collectibles is one of them, and I can tell by their customer service. Go check out; they have a bunch of model kits. Again, firstly, go to Hobby Nut Models. Firstly, go to Hobby Nut Models. Then go check out Poison Apple Collectibles, and. Uh, Go, go check their stuff. They're worth checking out just because of the credibility on what they did for me. It wasn't even their fault. The USPS is who ruined this stupid package. All right, moving on. eBay. I, I think this is cool. First, uh, first gen Viper V10. I saw this thing and it was a pretty reasonable price, and I thought, you know what? That's cool. I had a buddy of mine. This is from 92, by the way. Uh, I had a buddy of mine that we, we were at the uh, Christmas parade here in my town, Nahuna, Georgia. And some dude, oh, this is years ago, had a one of these first-gen Vipers with no roof. You know how they were. They were like, didn't have windows that rolled up or anything. They were just pure sports car. And uh, my friend got to ride in it. And he rode about 30 miles with this guy to another town and back. And he said it felt like it would break loose in high gear. It had so much torque. Just a classic car. Uh, changed the sports car industry for Americans. It was the premier sports car for American sports cars. That That's it right there. Not Corvette. Not Mustang. Not Camaro. It was the Dodge Viper. And that was... It, uh, that was it v10 450 hold on let's see power 400 brake horsepower it had 450 pounds of torque that's where you that's where your tire spin comes from guys the torque not the horsepower the torque but anyway cool kit i had to have it when i saw it maybe i need to get another one or two of these these are probably end up being hard to get one day um and at the price that I got it at, I wish they were had. I wish they had two, but they didn't. All right, next. So my friend Rick over at Rusty Rotors sent me a '56 diecast metal '56 T-Bird the other day, and this is not that one. I bought a second because you know that I can't build it if I only got one. Okay, you you guys know that. I bought a second kit. Um. And yeah, one I can put on the shelf, one I can build. Hey, by the way, thanks again, Rick, for uh, for sending me that that other kit. But now I've got that second one. I, I'm, I'm weird like that, guys. You know I am. All right, eBay again. Oh, and same same weirdness. <laughs> Look familiar? Yeah, Porsche 911 Turbo. So I'm 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 in the process of building. This kit right now, almost completed at the at the filming of this uh, video, almost completed with it. Um, but here is a second 911 Porsche Turbo. The first one I bought was, in fact, um, not sealed. This one is sealed. Uh, but you know what? I found I found a problem. I was missing. I actually, broke the. Um, I didn't. It was broken. It wasn't there. This portion. This is all one piece right here. 
one big tail light. You actually have to paint it. It's clear. But it was broken and I only had one quarter of it. So the three quarters of it's gone. And I thought, well, how do you like that? I've got this kit that I've almost completed and I don't have the rear tail light assembly. So I bought this kit and then I, I was like, dang, but it's sealed. Okay, so back up a bit. I bought some uh, some clear resin. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to uh, cast a new one with clear resin instead of having to rob a kit of its uh, tail light assembly. But I thought, man, this thing's got plastic on it. I don't want to have to open it. You know, because I'm, again, the, 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 the weirdo that I am, I don't like, if, the, if I've got a classic kit from 1986, I don't want to bust it open. So I got another one on the way. Yeah, I got another one on the way, guys. So anyway, I'll cast that tail light. It's, it's open. I, I made sure that when I was looking, I was like, oh, let it be open. Yeah, it was open, in it? And it's uh, got all the parts. So anyway, got another 911 on the way. That'll be three. One built, two on the shelf. Here's a cool kit. Who doesn't like an RX-7? Why does? Why do I like an RX-7? Because it had a Wankel rotary engine in it. What the heck is a Wankel rotary engine? Well, research Mazda RX-7 and you will see what a Wankel rotary engine is. It's the most unique engine that you've ever seen. A buddy of mine had one of these exact year model. Well, I say exact year model. It looked just like this. It was the, it was Wankel powered, and the Wankel gave him a uh, a few hiccups. And oh, Eric, which had actually has passed away now, which is so unfortunate. He was younger than me. Er Eric was probably about 42, 43 years old at this time. Would have been at this time. But anyway, uh, Eric's passed away. But he put a small block forward in it. I thought I was going to die. It was so fast. Um, it, he took an engine out of a 5.0, a roller. Uh, well, I don't think the 5.0s were actually roller cam. They did have roller rockers. Or no, they were roller cam and not roller rockers or vice versa. I don't know. I think they had roller They had roller cam shafts. Anyway, 5.0 Mustang made like 225 horsepower, but it felt like 500 back in the day. And he, he built a... He built... I don't know how he did it. Maybe they made a conversion kit, but he had a small block forward under the hood of his Mazda RX-7. Now this kit is a Fujimi kit also, but it's curbside, has no engine. But when I saw it, I was like, man, I gotta have that. Now those those exhausts looked as, they look horrible, horrendous. That does not look like what it would have looked like, I don't think. Look at that, that that's looks terrible. But anyway, I, thought, I saw this kit and I said, you know what, that would be neat. I'd love to build it in honor of Eric, but nobody, um, of his kin are around much anymore so they wouldn't even know it. This is a 1987 edition of this kit. He also had the previous uh, RX-7 with the Wankel. The one, the body before this a little bit more round looking. Anyway, I thought I'd, I'd like to have that tester. And, and it's testers, you know. I'm, 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 I got this weird testers thing going on. Speaking of testers, there's another one. So I, I needed a second 33 Cadillac Fleetwood V16 because I had one on the shelf and I needed a second one. And I was able to fulfill that. Although these are getting expensive. I don't know. So so let me know what you guys think. It seems like whenever I do, a, whenever I look at a uh, kit that I've got or maybe do a haul, it seems like the eBay value shoots up. Now, I don't think that that has anything to do with me per se. But I have noticed that it's like, okay, I got one kit, let's just say 30 bucks. The next time I'm looking, they're like $60. Like, what the heck's going on? But I was able to find this. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was too much. But I did get a second V16 Fleetwood by Cadillac. And it is a cool kit. They also make one that's not the Fleetwood that has the open cab, like for the, uh, the driver. He, poor guy, he had to, you know be in the elements the rain and everything and then the the rich couple in the back got the watch him get rained on or, or sweat to death but anyway they do have that one and it's it's very close but it's not a fleetwood um it is a v16 car though but anyway this is a cool car and and i gotta give it to whoever used to build the uh the models for testers they did an outstanding job outstanding any of the the box art of a testers uh kit is it's absolutely amazing it's it's worthy to hang on the wall because they were just so good all right another kit another ebay kit now this is one 
that has a testers back uh, testers it, it got I saw the testers and it's like I can't afford the testers but I found one that is supposedly the exact same thing and it's this I've been wanting a D Tomoso, and I probably mispronounced that, whatever, Pantera GTS. Now this is a US Airfix kit. They have this same kit. As far as I know, it's the same kit that Testers um, has. And by the way, it's on the way. I, I was able to acquire one. It's just not here yet. And we'll do a, uh, sorry for my phone making noises, but it, the other Pantera, um, P Testers Pantera, is it's on the way. Um, I'm just not, th that Pantera, I'm not sure if it had wheels. I couldn't see them in the, in the picture. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a kit that has no wheels, but at least this one has wheels. It's never been opened. So this is an Airfix. It's 124 scale. And Pantera was a, I don't know much about Panteras, but they did have uh ford 351 windsors i believe they were as the power plant it was a rear engine or mid-engine car i think it was mid-engine car mid-engine meaning the engine set in front of the rear axle and the transaxle was behind it rear axle being like a porsche i mean rear engines of like a porsche the engines behind the back wheels but this kit is not cheap this kit i didn't pay quite as much for I got it for uh, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood. Well, I'm not even going to say. But if you look at these, they're one, they're 100, 125, 140. That doesn't mean they're selling. But this is this is a 1980 edition of U.S. Airfix, and I don't know anything about U.S. Airfix. I'd never really even heard of them. But I'm going to open this kit up. Yes, Sean and George. I'm going to open this kit up because I want to check out its contents. It's a it's a curbside kit. There's not a lot going on inside here. There's not a lot of parts, but um, I've, I've been wanting one. And, and the one I really wanted was the uh, testers, and it looks way meaner on the box than this one does. So I've got this one and the testers on the way. All right. So two things that I know that you guys want to see. It's the mystery boxes. Uh, when I get a mystery box, now this isn't sent, this box was not sent to me and it didn't have orders to, oh, you know what though? I've got something before that. This one does actually. Check this out. Open on camera. And, and you won't believe who I got this from. You will not believe it because he's a mysterious fella and uh, his name is, yeah. Well, if it would if it would focus on it, it's, his name's Rat Fink, and he's everywhere USA. So it, Rat Fink sent me something. It said, and he told me to open it on camera. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I have a box that I'm going to open on camera. That box wasn't to be open. It wasn't. I wasn't told to open on camera, but I'm going to. I just want the uh, thrill to be shared with all of you guys. So I'm going to open up Rat Fink's envelope. There's something in here that's kind of stiff. And I don't have any idea what the, what this is or who it's from. Now, whoever it's from, you're, it, 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 did, it did go through Greenville, South Carolina. So. And by the way, there's my address. If you guys are interested, send me a shop card or anything right there. P.O. Box 854, Nahuna, Georgia 31553. All right, let's see what this is. Open on camera. All right, so got some big... Rat Fink has got a big red marker. So let's see what, what old Rat Fink says first. <laughs> he says, Hi Matthew, as my, new, as my newest and youngest fan, here are some stickers uh, for, for your models. Also, uh, for Van Dutch, the flying eyeball for hot rods. Thanks for your support. Uh, your pal, Rat Fink. Mr. Fink to you. <laughs> That's so cool. Thanks. Whoever. whoever sent this, a.k.a. Rat Fink, I appreciate it. All right, so here we go. From your buddy Rat Fink. All right, so let me open this. Mr. Fink to you. All right, Mr. Fink, I'm going to open this up and check these out. Oh, this is too cool. Hey, these look like actual, maybe an actual picture. I don't know. Oh, shoot. We got a we've got a sheet of decals. Holy moly, check it out. So the flying eyeball is um, Von Dutch. 
So he did the flying eyeball. There's hooker headers, flying eyeballs, and a bunch of rat finks. Check this out, guys. This is too cool. And it's, uh, holy moly, too stinking cool. Thank you. Thank you, rat Mr. Fink. I really appreciate that. Those will definitely see, uh, uh, appear on something else in the near future. I can assure you of that. Thank you so much for that. That is too cool. And last but not least, not least at all, because this guy's my bud. This guy here, uh, many of you guys know who Rick Zink is. I know who Rick Zink is. Rick Zink's my friend. He's Rick Zink, let me make sure I get it right. Rick Zink is Skeletal Remains Scale Auto Restoration. So his channel is called Rick Zink, but his, his channel is uh skeletal remains scale auto restoration i will link uh zinc i will link rick, link rick in the description below so you can go check his channel out but he sent me this and it doesn't say anything like open on camera or anything like that but i said hey rick can i open this on camera let me let me raise this speaking of camera let me raise this camera up a little bit so i can get all this in view i said rick do you mind if i open this on camera he's like matthew it's yours you can do what you want to with it i love cut and dry people like that all right, so Rick lives about two hours away from me. He's probably my closest model building buddy now. I used to have a friend down in Fernandina Beach, Florida, one hour away, but unfortunately Kevin passed away not that long ago. So Rick is over about two hours away. So we're gonna open this up. I don't have any idea what this is, Rick. Rick didn't tell me. I, I was shocked when I saw it today. So we're gonna check it out. Rick apparently shops at Walmart. So Rick, you do a lot of shopping at Walmart apparently because there is a lot. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I see why he sent it to you. Okay guys, don't forget. Here is his shop card just so you can see it up close and personal. Skeletal remains, skill auto restoration. Look at Rick's. He and, and if you ever see Rick at a show, you're gonna get a skeleton. You're gonna get a skeleton. As a matter of fact, let me show you my skeletons. See them right there hanging? There they are. There's my skeletons. Anyway, all right, let's get back over here. See if I can get this positioned back where it was. All right. All right, Rick. I already see where you're going with this, and I really appreciate it. So as I'm sitting there saying how it's I'm a tester's weirdo and I had a guy comment um, on my videos like if you like to build testers you're either like weird or mentally handicapped or something like that check this out testers 85 1980 firebird can you see? I don't know if the glare is too bad an 80 firebird yellow and red oh no that's a Camaro holy cow let me get this box out of the way Dang, Rick. I can't believe it, buddy. That's awesome. I don't care if you got them from Big Lots for $3.99 a piece or not, because it looks like a Big Lots tag, but that's that's an old Big Lots tag. Big Lots tag. And you know what he did for me? He already cut the seal. So there they are. They're, they're ready to open. Dang, Rick. Dang, I can't believe it, man. That is too cool. That is too cool. So I got two testers. I got a Camaro and a firebird wow 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 well i appreciate it man that is that is that's special to know that somebody is thinking of you and is a supporter of their local walmart because buddy it took about 30 bags to get that packed in there so i don't want to uh make anyone think i'm throwing those bags in the trash because that would not be re uh, recycle friendly but I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you to Rick Zink. Skeletal Remains, Skill Auto Restoration. Go check him out. Thank you to, what was that channel called? What was their store called? Green uh, Poison, App Poison Apple Collectibles. Go check them out on eBay. I'll link them in the description below so you can go check out their, uh, their, their uh, store, rather. Don't forget to go check out Hobby Nut Models. There he is. Go check this little this little compressor out. 
you don't have to have the big compressor that scares you when it fires up like I do. I've got a regular pancake or a uh, small compressor that I use um, and when it fires up I always jump. But you can get one of these and you have all the air you want on demand. Um, I was about to say thanks to eBay. No thanks to eBay. You charge way too darn much and uh, but you do have a lot of good kits. Uh, Hobby Nut Models. Go check out Mark's inventory over there for his kits. Not, not only it's going to eventually it's going to it's going to focus not only for his miniature air compressors but for his model kits for his supplies his sanding pads his glue his mcw paint his tamiya paint by the way he sent me some tamiya lacquers to, to try out i've never really painted with lacquers before i may have to reach out to some of you guys to uh to know how to even use a lacquer paint i know mark knows how um but more importantly guys thank you for getting me over the over the 10,000 subscriber threshold milestone can't believe it 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 was i can remember making a thousand thousand subs and it was like dude i have made a thousand subs subscribers on youtube now i'm at 10,000 that's 10 times that a hundred thousand it's 10 times where i'm at right now it's it's not it's not something that you can't get to guys if you feel like your channel struggling just keep if it's struggling just keep at it just keep at it keep at it keep throwing content out there and uh this is a great community and i i hope um that you all stick with it and i hope you all stick with me and i hope you all go check out hobby nut models do that thank you rick zinc buddy you're 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 a special friend thank you so much for that and uh hey uh, if you want a t-shirt, if you want a model car videos t-shirt or a coffee mug or a sticker or a hoodie if you live in Antarctica, um, go to the, the Spring Store that's linked in the description below as well as the Facebook group and the Patreon uh, uh, page. Thank you to my Patreon uh, supporters. Um, I don't get with you guys nearly enough. I've got to do that very, very soon. So thank you for all you do. Thank you for your support and let's make it Let's make it 20,000. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, guys, you take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.